What up, y'all? So today we're going to be looking at more of Scarlet and Violet's scrapped content. This comes from the Chinese Riddler himself, who alleges certain things are supposed to be in Scarlet and Violet. We looked at how the Parallax Pokemon are supposed to be much different and kind of more akin to Mega Evolution, which is kind of crazy. Let's see the next one. By the way, this seems to be legit stuff. Season system was once a thing for Scarlet and Violet development, but they didn't make it come back when Scarlet and Violet got released. So you would see these deer weirdly living together at the same time. Who with this ingenious wording? This is interesting. So he's saying there were supposed to be seasons in Scarlet and Violet. And this might have been in the days before they even designed Blueberry Academy. So since they scrapped seasons, they decided to split Blueberry Academy into the four seasons pretty much you got savannah coastal canyon and polar so that was kind of the seasons and it gets especially interesting when you look at the comments someone asks random seasons occurring during the game time or real time seasons like an animal crossing random seasons would be like if the game has its own clock so a real life month would maybe be a year in game and you'd see the entire environment in Paldia, the flowers on the leaves changing the water evaporating snow rising and then it melting and starting all over again throughout all the different routes that would be crazy and then the second one is real-time seasons like an animal crossing this is when the actual end game reflects the time of the year in real life so if you're playing this game when scarlet and violet first came out november december it would be all winter then around march around the time they announced the dlcs a lot of it would be melted away and the whole poly region would be looking different this is how it worked in Animal Crossing. So if you look at the Northern Hemisphere, spring was from February to May, summer from June to September, and fall obviously from the fall months and winter months. So each season lasted three months pretty much, and it was reflective of what was happening in real life. Who gives an answer, which is actually none of the above? <laughs> Refer to Unova. This is a crazy answer. So the reason this is none of the above, you might remember Unova to be like what I just showed you with Animal Crossing, where every three months, the season changed. But Unova worked in a really weird way, where it seems like Game Freak wanted people to actually enjoy the different seasons faster than having to have to wait a whole year to have the snow rise and you be able to go up the ledge and all, which is pretty cool, by the way. Man, they did some innovative stuff with Unova. But the way the Unova seasons actually work is the year... They made the world spin like four times as fast as it normally does. So what I mean by this is every month the season change. So that means in a real life year, the Unova world has spun four times. So this means it's spring in January, summer in February, autumn in March, and winter in April. Then it goes back to spring in May. This is actually a pretty good way to do it for the reason I just said, right? And as long as no one is cheating, <laughs> you know, everyone's kind of enjoying the same transforming Paldia together, starting from when Scarlet and Violet comes out. And if you think about it, it'd be really cool to, for example, be in Kitakami and it'd be filled. Well, Kitakami and Blueberry are not in Paldia, so I don't know if they would have the same seasons, but just to entertain it, if you go to Kitakami in that shop and all, and at certain times of the year, it's actually filled with snow. Imagine doing the peach run event, you just time the peach run event to do it when it's winter and the whole place is just white. There's so many cool ideas. You can make the snow pile up and only like the summertime when the snow goes down, you can find like secret caves and all in Paldia. Paldia was their testing of the open world concept. Well, their second testing after Legends. It's only going to get better from here. So they obviously took it out because there's so much potential with seasons and a lot of work that comes with it that they probably decided we'll do this next time. But the fact that Ku is saying this was supposed to happen with Scarlet and Violet means it's on the table. When we get the next Pokemon games, for example, in Pokemon Legends ZA, because the entire environment is in Lumios, you could have this returning. You could... Oh man, we're going to have to talk about this. You could have it so... Every month, Lumio City goes through a different season. Let's look out for Legends EA, y'all. It's we're so close. We're almost halfway done the year. Here's something cool that they could have done with Scarlet and Violet in terms of the number four. So since we would have four different seasons, maybe something they had planned early on is the four ruinous Pokemon each set of stakes maybe you could only uncover throughout each season so maybe only in like the winter like the f lake freezes over and you can find shen pao stakes 
Then in the spring, you can find the Wuxian sticks. They kind of do, in a fun way, repre- Fam, these dudes represent the four seasons, kind of. This dude is winter. This dude is vegetation, so it's kind of like spring. This dude reminds you of autumn. And this is kind of like the heat of summer. Am I figuring, am I seeing what I want to see? But yeah, you could have had a situation like this, which would make the whole treasure hunt for them an actual treasure hunt, where they're not all available at the same time. It's actually a long journey. And so the mission with Rifle would probably be more engaging. It should probably tell you more information and hints. Right now, the Runas Pokemon are kind of just all there at the same time, right? You got to find, what is it, 32 stakes? And you can do it all at once. And because we're playing a Pokemon game and we can do it in like two hours, kind of makes it feel like the Runas Pokemon weren't that big of a deal, right? When you're forced to space it out like this, it's kind of cool. So, you know, the game would come out in November. I mean, obviously people would cheat and change their times. So I guess that ruins it a bit, but being excited for the next month to come so the next set of stakes become available, everyone's going to cheat and do it. Yeah, they're going to have to find something so people don't cheat. Like, there's a lot of fun ideas that come from this, but even I'm not waiting a month, man. This is so cool that they originally had this plan for Scarlet and Violet. There's one last thing I could say on this, which is the Nintendo Switch does have the room to punish you if you try to change the time. I don't think they do this in Animal Crossing. You're free to just mess up your time. But in Pokemon games, when there's events that only happen, for example, once a day, if the game detects that you changed your Nintendo Switch time, it locks you out of certain features or it punishes you. It like puts you in jail for like two days, if I remember. So for example, for Pokemon Sword and Shield, there wasn't too many daily events, but the stow on side dude that sells random artifacts once a day, and then your lottery ticket in those games, if the game detected you're trying to cheat it, they just don't let you do anything for like two days. So I'm not saying don't let the Nintendo Switch govern us, but there are ways they can make so people can't cheat it, but they gotta come up with a better system. Maybe something like the months lasting a week. And so just don't change your time and get locked out for 48 hours. Just wait a week for the season to change. After all, Masuda is the one who said in an interview that people have such short attention spans now. That's why they took the Battle Frontier out of Auras. Yeah, same situation here, Masuda. Make the freaking seasons a week long. This is the only way you could fix this. I'm just saying he's aware that people are going to want to cheat it. So yeah, let's just say in this situation, right? You can pick up the stakes whenever, but you have to wait for the season to change to actually go to the metal pot and talk to the ruinous Pokemon. Then you're excitedly waiting for that week. And then it's a bigger deal when Shen Pao appears rather than just getting them all in two hours. Who knows? Is it a good idea? Who knows? I mean, I know it's a good idea, but you can't convince people they should wait. <laughs> I don't want to wait. It's better if we have to wait, but no one wants to do it. Shank that like button. There are a couple more posts who made here about stuff that was supposed to be in Scarlet and Violet, which is only a hint that they could be in Legends EA because they're just scrapped because they got lazy. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.